Welcome to Accounting. What is the purpose of accounting? The purpose of accounting is to identify, record, and communicate economic events of an organization and to interested users. Who uses accounting data? They are internal and external users. Internal users include human resources, finance, management, and marketing. They have unlimited access to the information within the organization. External users include taxing authorities, labor unions, customers, creditors, investors, and regulatory agencies. They have limited access to the information. And here we have the major players in the accounting game. First off, we have the International Accounting Standards Board, shortened to IASB. There are 15 people in London. Next, we have the New Zealand External Reporting Board, or the XRB. They are responsible for repairing, auditing, and accounting standards in New Zealand. They are nine members, and they are also a crown entity. Finally, we have the New Zealand Accounting Standards Board, or the NZASB. They are within the XRB, and they are delegated the authority to set accounting standards. In the financial reporting environment, the IASB researches topics and discussion papers are produced. The IASB are meant to be aware of the entire accounting world. There might be a problem with the way something is being reported. The discussion paper provides answers and solutions to these problems. The new process is when they put it on their website and let other people see what they think about the solution. Before a standard is issued, there will always be an exposure draft. This is more like an advanced discussion paper, like a mini-standard. Once again, there is due process and collects comments. 9 out of 15 members have to approve. The NZASB receives ISB standard and submits to the XRB for approval. The XRB can only supplement the IFRS but not replace them. This means the XRB can create their own standards as long as they don't conflict against IFRS. In New Zealand, the law governing financial reporting is the Financial Reporting Act of 2013, which is the new FRA. The previous was the Financial Reporting Act of 1993. This law governs the publishing of financial statements and the rules of how each business has to follow GAAP. GAAP is short for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Under the new FRA, only publicly accountable or large companies will have to follow GAAP. If a business does not follow GAAP, then they can still follow cash-based accounting while still following tax reports, but to borrow money from banks would require GAAP. An entity is considered publicly accountable if their debts or equity instruments are traded on exchanges. The public needs to be protected. An entity is considered large in New Zealand if they have greater than 30 million in revenue or 60 million in assets. Overseas companies may have higher limits. Under the new FRA, if an entity is not publicly accountable or large, legally they will only be required to prepare special purpose reports. GAAP has a two-tier system. Tier 1 comprises of a full IFRS for publicly accountable entities. This is the gold standard. They have to account for all the disclosures. Tier 2 has reduced disclosure IFRS for not publicly accountable yet large. But Tier 2 must be elected or Tier 1 applies by default. Large entities can elect to go to Tier 2. If not elected, then it is automatically in Tier 1. Small businesses do not have to follow GAAP at all unless they are publicly accountable. NZASB manages Tier 2. They decide how much disclosure is required from Tier 2 companies. This is decided purely in New Zealand. The gold standard GAAP in New Zealand includes international financial reporting standards and international accounting standards. The standards are followed as the IASB interprets the IFRS and the IAS. Currently, there are 44 standards and 28 interpretations in New Zealand. What if the issue arises that there is no standard and gap? Well, first you can sort it out by following analogy, where you find a standard that is somewhat similar and follow that. The New Zealand Framework for the Preparation and Presentation of Financial Statements is also known as the Conceptual Framework. It covers how to record the event with definitions. It is not a standard in itself, and it does not override existing standards. It exists to support the ISB to create new standards. It also assists preparation of creating financial statements. There is a presumption that if GAAP is followed, the statements are fair, but that does not always hold true, so the new FRA says they will be allowed to depart from GAAP if they think their financial statements will not be fairly disclosed. Additionally, the term true and fair view has been limited from the FRA. The new term we use is now called fair presentation.